skills for the industry are a huge issue. We've neglected the industry for 25 to 30 years and we have to rebuild that industry completely. But we can do it. We've done it before, we did it with the Astute programme where we rebuilt both the supply chain and the people skills and we can do it again. These careers in this quality of engineering are careers for life. Global Project Partners is a global human capital consultancy. So we act as trusted advisors to leaders and companies within the energy and the infrastructure sectors. And we deliver and we create innovative and effective human capital solutions and professional services. This ranges from industry research, corporate intelligence and business research, all the way through to executive search and talent acquisition. And that's done and delivered through our division, Future Executive Search. As the CEO of a business specialising in people, I personally think it's extremely important to speak to and engage with some of the most respected leaders within my niche industry, the nuclear sector. There's a real issue now about how we convert the, the mid-level, the senior level engineers back into nuclear, because there's lots of guys around who had those skills when they first started and they've let them, let them go. Bringing them back again is a challenge. but. Fundamentally, this is a, about changing the perceptions of those engineers. It's about getting them to recognise that not only are they far more valuable in, these, in this industry, but they have far longer career opportunities. If you look at the life, life expectancy of most engineers, it goes in waves. They have, they have periods of their career where they have to move around. Once you've got a nuclear skill that's proven, you're there until the cows come home. You have the pick of the opportunities because for another 10 years, skills are going to be short. So it's really about getting the mid-level guys who have the background to move back into nuclear to recognise just the sheer scale of the opportunity. And that, frankly, is about communication. It's the headhunters, it's the magazines, it's the trade journals, it's the institutions actually opening up and being much more visible with the, the value of shifting careers, of rebranding yourself. I believe it's important for all people within our industry to engage with the younger generation, uh, specifically those that are in senior or leadership positions. The, the importance of um, retaining the senior players at this point in time in the industry development can't be overstressed. We're facing a huge area of growth and it's the senior players who have been there before, who have long memories, uh, particularly in the nuclear sector. The last major activity we had was in the mid-90s with the building of the last nuclear power plant here, Sizewell B. Uh, some of us can remember it well and we can remember the huge national demand that was made to build one power station. We now talk about building at least four power stations and the enormity of the issue can't be overstated, particularly with one of the main resources and that's human resources and the, 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 the demand for training and development will be quite overwhelming and, and, and the threat if we don't get it right is this thing that people talk about nuclear inflation there, there, there aren't enough people with the right skill sets the, the, the demand outstrips the supply and the cost goes through the ceiling a lot can be gained from the older generation interacting with the younger members of the industry. In this country, we lost about 20 years of employment with the downturn of the nuclear sector. So now there's a large gap in the middle of our industry and our working population. YGN are essential in encouraging young people into the industry. Um, they're, they're a young organisation who are vibrant and enthusiastic and do a lot of outreach programmes to schools and universities to get young people interested in energy and interested in the nuclear industry from the beginning. For any company in our industry, specifically corporate companies, it's exceptionally important that they retain their senior leaders and those that have been experienced in building nuclear power stations in the past, um, really for the motivation of the people underneath them to see what we've achieved, but also so that those skills and that knowledge is transferred and shared before they retire. As somebody who promotes uh, diversity within the sector, I find it extremely interesting but also inspirational to talk to and partner with female leaders within the nuclear sector wherever possible. As far as women within the nuclear industry, the balance is changing from when I started in the industry 20 years ago, but still we're in a position where 82% of our employees within EDF Energy are male. So there is always more that we can do and creating an environment where 
everybody can flourish is really, really important. And doing that through role models, I think, is, is part of the answer. We've seen a real increase in women choosing and joining the energy sector. We've seen that from the group of the YGN that I work with, where 50% of the chairs of that committee have been women over the last 10 years. So that shows that in the future there really is a, a large group of young female um, enthusiastic and, and very hard working people willing to take the top positions in industry. I do think it's very, very important that we all get out and talk about the types of careers that we have. It's no longer about heavy engineering and getting your hands dirty, although there are parts of our, our roles which are like that, but it's much more diverse than that and the types of careers that you can have really cater for all sorts of, of different approaches and talking about it and sh showing yourself as a person who is involved I think is really important to encourage other people to maybe just consider whether their skills would lead them in that direction. By 2050 the world will be a different place. Clearly our population worldwide globally is growing and the energy demand that comes with that is an important part of what we're looking at today and making sure that we have the right people to both construct and then safely operate new nuclear power stations is perhaps one of the biggest challenges that we do face and our part in making sure that we invest now to meet that demand of the future is a, is a really big responsibility. Perhaps like me, you're passionate about the global energy sector and I hope what we've achieved today is by demonstrating that if we all work together from graduates through to middle management, leadership and executive level, that if we do pull together that we can achieve and overcome the challenges that we face today.